think it time to leave Harry and Meghan alone. Family Guy have given the couple a right royal roasting in the latest episode of the cartoon. Cartoon? Cartoon Canteen. is what I meant, yeah. <laughs> Which mocks the Sussexes over their Netflix deal, a very lucrative deal. Yeah, the jibe comes just months after South Park also poked fun at the couple. But is it disrespectful? Let's have a look at the clip. <laughs> uh, comedian Trix thinks it's all a bit of fun. He's while. laughing at that uh, right now! Entertainment journalist <laughs> Stephanie Tetchy <laughs> thinks it's distasteful. Uh, let's come to you first, Trix. Bit of fun? I, I, I think it's all in good fun, you know. Um, I'm always going to defend comedy. I'm always going to defend its realm and the fact that uh, we, we're in a world where everybody's just a little too sensitive and everything seems to upset everyone. I, I personally don't think it was that harmful. As long as you're not imposing views and you're, you're kind of telling people how to think and you're attacking someone's, you know, character or facial features or whatever it is, as long as you're not imposing views, if you're just poking fun and it's, you know, it's lighthearted fun, then I just don't think it's a, a big deal. Uh, Stephanie? Uh, it's not a laughing matter, I'm afraid. Which, what isn't a laughing matter, exactly? Family Guy feeling that they need to make a mockery of Meghan and Prince Harry. As we saw earlier with South Park earlier this year, where they spoofed them because they asked for their private life and for their privacy, it begs to ask this question, why do we have to continually feel that Meghan and Harry need to be the butt of the joke, or why do they have to be the national punchline? Both of them have spoken about their battles with mental health, and it feels to be falling on deaf ears on a big scale because there's been this continuous need where people feel they need to grow to this toxicity and make fun of I think, them. I think a lot of people would agree with you, but this is comedy, and I, I wrote comedy, and it's mm. sort of... You, we can't start censoring comedy, can we? And for all we know, they might laugh at it themselves. They I might doubt sass it. it. Very I mean, much. We don't know. Them. I doubt you don't it very know. Much and we're here sort of defending about, them on their behalf. But they have spoken about their mental health battles. And then we have to ask ourselves why do we have to keep on saying everything's okay in the name of comedy, dark comedy? They are real life people here who have to sit and deal with this on okay, a here, here, basis. Here's my, here's my thing. Here's my thing, okay? We've got to stop blaming, we've got to stop acting like mental health issues. Yeah. Um, comedy attacks it negatively because I suffer from mental health issues and yeah. comedy's my therapy. Yeah. At the end of the day... But it's the, your the therapy, show... but you don't know what just it's doing. Right, right, right. But point. the show wasn't attacking their mental health. The mm -hmm. show was attacking, basically, or not even attacking, just poking fun at the fact that these two were, were I guess, essentially... They were part of the royal family and they absolved themselves from it. And then here they are just collecting millions and, and a lot of people don't even really know why. And then if, here's my thing. If you're a celebrity and you put yourself out there, I'm sorry, it's fair game. It's sad, but it's reality. But though. the thing is, you do not know, Trix, what someone's limit is when it comes to their mental health. Absolutely. This is a couple who've been faced an onslaught of criticism for the past five years or okay. so. How much more can you really take? Well, mm. do you know what? I have to say we have to end it there. Yeah. Oh. That's all we can take. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Uh, that's it. That's it from uh, us. But I, I, We're I can pretty much guarantee six. you will be debating Megan at some point again in the near future. Yes, in the yes. Near future. Come back. Yeah. We will be back. <laughs>